Welcome to this how-to video from CBioPortal. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the ways you can get started using CBioPortal, which is querying for specific genes in a study. We'll start by selecting a study, and for this example, I'm going to choose this TCGA pancancer atlas study of esophageal adenocarcinoma. Once I select the study, these two buttons at the bottom become active. In this video, we're going to click Query by Gene. We have another video about exploring studies, linked here and in the description below. Having selected a study, we can now define the parameters of our query. First, select the molecular profiles to query against. By default, mutations, structural variants, and copy number alterations are selected if those profiles exist for the selected study. You can also choose to include mRNA or protein expression, although I'm not going to do that here. Next, select which patients to, within the study to include in the query. Depending on the study, you'll see some different options here. And I particularly want to mention that there is a user-defined option, where you can enter your own list of sample or patient IDs if you've previously identified a subset of interest. For now, I'm going to stick with the default option. Finally, we enter our genes of interest. Enter one or more genes separated by space or on separate lines. And now we can submit our query. And this brings us to results view, comprised of a number of different tabs, each supporting a different visualization or analysis. Here, I'm just going to very briefly touch on a few tabs, but we have lots of other resources to learn more about each of these. We start on Oncoprint, which provides a nice compact summary of alterations in our query genes, each shown as a row here, across the whole cohort, so each column here is a patient or a sample. The legend below explains the colors used to mark each sample as altered or not altered for each query gene. You can hover over any box in the Oncoprint for more details about the specific alterations represented by that box. Oncoprint provides a great summary of alterations, but one common question is how to look at the specific mutations in detail. And for that, we have the mutations tab. Here, you'll see the distribution of mutations across a gene, here in this plot at the top of the page, and you can explore each mutation in detail in the table below. Each row here is a mutation in a particular sample, and you can view additional columns of data, including this annotation column, which directly integrates information from a number of knowledge bases directly into CBioPortal. We hope you found this video helpful. For a deeper introduction to results view, including descriptions of all the tabs you can see here, check out some of the other resources shown here and in the video description.